You said a while ago that 10,000 players, that was your kind of foundation aim. If you could secure 10,000 hardcore players, you would feel safe as an MMORPG. Now, I think World of Warcraft has warped the, the mindset of a lot of players because they think anything under 10 million is dead. They think anything under a million active players isn't an active game. And the general, general consensus among the player base is 10,000 isn't enough. Do you still believe that 10,000 players is enough? And how many do you think Path of Exile could grow to sustain realistically? That's a great question. And when we initially made that prediction, it was kind of a back of the envelope calculation. In fact, I think I did it on an envelope that I have somewhere still, where basically um, we expected not to grow the studio past about 15 or 20 people. And when you're running something like that, it costs you know, a grand a day to keep the servers up. And then if you're making five grand from your 10,000 average players, you have plenty of money for yourself and all goes well. You buy Lambos after a few years and life is good. And that was the calculation we did based on a small studio and a relatively small game. Um, Path of Exile's grown since then. I think that we average, including all platforms, maybe 70 or 80k logged in players at any one time, including, you know, the spikes of launch and the, you know, the depths of the late league where there were fewer people playing. But um, I, I do actually believe that for niche games, a small community like 10,000 is totally enough to sustain it. And it really depends a lot on how the game is monetized and also how expensive their server costs are. I completely get what you mean, that um, large MMO launches start off with a million people playing at any one time, and then it drops down to their sustainable baseline of actual you know, entrenched hardcore users. And people say game is dead, despite the fact there's 30 or 40,000 people playing simultaneously. And that game will be making good money off those 30 or 40,000 people. As long as they're not planning a $50 million expansion at the same time, they're totally happy with that. So it's entirely fine for games to have lower baseline populations if they design around it. And there's a whole bunch of design topics here. Like, we wanted Path of Exile to not feel empty if it was unpopular. And that's why towns are limited to 24 players and you play instances with your friends, because you could honestly have just a few hundred people online. And because you're all jammed into the same areas, you wouldn't really notice the fact that it was quite an empty game. Thankfully, we don't suffer from that problem, but we designed so that if we did, it wouldn't feel like a ghost town. I was talking to a few of my friends about the idea that if a game has a million players online, you may not necessarily interact with all one million. You could probably mm. interact or even see in the world a couple of hundred before it starts to get a little bit laggy and a little bit excessive. So having those hub centers and then the exploration areas that you journey out to, to me, reminds me a lot of Guild Wars 1, the idea of the mm. centralized community and then expand out. Have you never decided to go back on that idea? Have you never thought maybe the explorable areas should be parts of the open world? We really like the way we're doing it because it lets us use quite aggressive random generation for these areas. It lets us give you a slightly different experience each time you play through and that's really good for replayability. And it's cool that you mentioned Guild Wars 1, probably my second favorite game of all time. We modeled our networking architecture around that game. We wanted it so that the idea of the hub towns and coming out of them to areas with your party was basically exactly the same as the Guild Wars 1 architecture. We thought that was an entirely brilliant idea of this. I absolutely love Guild Wars 1. I've been playing it with a couple of friends recently.